Welcome back, Joper here. Today, we're diving into a major new release from NEO, the all-new ES8 Gen 3, now officially the largest pure electric SUV in China. And our main question is, what is this car truly aiming for? But before the main question, let me tell you core specs of the ES8. First thing first, this car has battery as a service, BAS, option. The standard version is priced at $57,000. Opt for the battery as a service, BOSS, plan, and the price drops to $42,200, with the battery cost $14,800, billed separately. The ES8 has grown significantly, now measuring 5,280 mm long, 2,010 mm wide, excluding mirrors, 1,800 mm tall, with a 3,130 mm wheelbase, up substantially from the previous model. NEO's Design for Success language shines through, from dual-layer double-dash DRLs and HD projection headlights, to hidden door handles, a sleek LED rear light bar, and 22-inch forged wheels wrapped in Pirelli P0 tires. Inside, the ES8 offers both 6-seat, 2 plus 2 plus 2, and 7-seat, 2 plus 3 plus 2 configurations. The cabin is packed with tech, a 48-inch skyline display, a 16.4-inch AMOLED center screen, and a 38-inch AR HUD. The six-seat layout includes ultra-comfortable second-row seats that recline up to 151 degree and offer leg extension heating. Seating across all rows can be heated, some even feature ventilation. Additional luxury touches, five-zone climate control, fold-down tables, a refrigerator, a 27-speaker, 2,600-watt Dolby Atmos system, 21.4-inch 3K ceiling display for rear passengers. The ES8 Gen 3 runs on a 900-volt electrical architecture, sharing tech with NIO's ET9. It has a dual-motor AWD setup, front induction motor, 180 kilowatt, 300 newton meters, rear permanent magnet motor, 340 kilowatt, 400 newton meters. Total output, 520 kilowatt, 700 newton meters of torque, 0 100 kilometer per hour in 3.97 seconds. Equipped with a 102 kilowatt hour battery pack, the ES8 Gen 3 delivers a CLTC range of 635 kilometer. It boasts peak charging power of 600 kilowatt at 925 volt with charging speeds up to 5C so you can add 250 km in just 5 minutes. Battery swap? Done in about 3 minutes. The ES8 Gen 3 features dual chamber air suspension, adjustable by plus minus 50 mm. Standard ride clearance is 165 mm, with a weighting depth of 650 mm. Easy entry lowers the ride by 50 mm for boarding, easy load drops it for easier trunk access. Cargo capacity is generous, 547 liter, expandable to 3,000, 230 liter with seats folded, plus a 230 liter front trunk. The ES8 is outfitted with robust hardware, roof-mounted LiDAR, wide-angle LiDAR, 4D imaging radar, multiple cameras, and NIO's NX9031 chip, all integrated via the NEO World model, NWM. Side mirrors even use blue indicator lights to flag assistant status. At this size and price point, especially with Baz, the ES8 Gen 3 challenges models like the 80M8 and M9. NEO's CEO, William Lee, emphasized that these aggressive prices come from strategic supplier negotiations, shared R and D across platforms, and materials optimization, not a short-term gimmick. Okay, now back to the main question of the video. What is this car truly aiming for? You know, the market for premium all-electric SUVs is, well, it's packed. So how do you even stand out? Well, today we're looking at the new NIO ES8. And on the surface, yeah, it seems like just another high-end contender. But as we're about to see, it might be playing a totally different game. So that brings us to the big question for this explainer, right? What is this car really trying to do? With a sea of luxury SUVs out there, 
What's Neo's endgame? Are they just trying to build a slightly better SUV? Or is this something else entirely? To figure that out, we've got to dig into the details. Okay, so our first big clue, it's all in the design philosophy. And I'm not just talking about making a car that looks good, no. This is about crafting a very, very specific identity from the ground up. And trust me, Neo is not being shy about this. Their own tagline for the ES8 is literally, designed for success for the leader. I mean, you can't get much more direct than that. This vehicle is explicitly built for a very specific persona. Someone who's all about success, confidence, and leadership. And you can totally see this leader idea baked right into the design. Just look at that commanding front end. It has this aggressive, shark nose angle. And that powerful shoulder line, it just screams presence. Every single detail is engineered for someone who's constantly juggling their business, their community, and their family. The whole idea here is that first impressions are everything. Okay, so it's got the leader look down, but that's just scratching the surface. The ES8's real ambition? Well, that becomes super clear when you start working at its space, because it's not just taking on other SUVs, no way. It's actually going after a whole different class of vehicle. Get this, 777 liters. That's the total trunk space, front and back. Now to put that into perspective for you, Neo says that's basically double the cargo capacity of its main SUV rivals. That number right there, that's the key to unlocking what this car is really all about. So here's where it gets really interesting. If you stop thinking of the ES8 as an SUV and start putting it up against high-end MPVs, you know, minivans, the whole strategy just clicks into place. Suddenly, you see it has a similar entry height. It's got the widest access to that third row. And this is the big one. Way, way more cargo space when all the seats are full. And this was a huge claim they made at the launch. With people, 12 suitcases, no problem. Think about that. That is the direct shot at the biggest headache of pretty much every three-row SUV on the market. You know that feeling, right? You either take all the people, or you take all their stuff. The ES8 is basically saying, why not both? So here's the bottom line. Neo is essentially trying to make the premium MPV irrelevant. They're giving you all the utility and practicality of a minivan, but they're wrapping it up in the prestigious high-status package of a flagship SUV. It's kind of brilliant. But look, having all that space is one thing. The real magic is in how Neo actually uses that space. They're trying to create a totally new kind of environment inside the car, what they're calling a third space that's not quite home and not quite the office. And these aren't just gadgets thrown in. These are full-on amenities. We're talking three zero gravity seats for just insane comfort. A smart fridge that can get your drinks ice cold or keep your food warm. A giant piece of smart privacy glass that can go from clear to frosted. Seriously, this stops feeling like a car cabin and starts feeling more like a private mobile lounge or even a command center on wheels. And maybe the best example of this whole philosophy is this one little detail. Tucked away in the back, there's a built-in interface for a garment rack. The idea is, a leader might be going from a casual daytime meeting to a formal dinner, so the car literally becomes your private mobile changing room. It's such a small thing, but it tells you everything you need to know about who this car is for. Okay, so we've looked at the design, we've looked at the space, and we've looked at the whole interior vibe. Let's bring it all together and finally answer that question we started with. What is this car truly aiming for? The answer is, the NIO ES8 is not just trying to be a better SUV. It's actually trying to create a whole new category. Let's call it a flagship mobile space. It's a vehicle that's purpose-built for that modern leader whose work life and personal life are just completely blended together. And when you put it side by side with a traditional SUV, the difference is just night and day, right? A regular SUV focuses on the driver. It forces you to choose between people or luggage. 
it's basically just a way to get from A to B. The ES-8, on the other hand, is all about all the passengers. It promises no compromises. It's not just transport. It's a versatile third space where you can actually live and work. And this really gets to the heart of it. The tagline, everyone is the MVP, it's not just marketing fluff. It means that whether you're behind the wheel or chilling in the very back row, your seat is a first-class seat. There are literally no bad seats in this mobile space. So this leaves us with a pretty big final thought. The Neo ES8 is more than a car. It's kind of a statement about where cars are going. As our vehicles get smarter, more connected, and more a part of our daily lives, what does this rise of the mobile space mean for the whole auto industry? I mean, are old labels like SUV or sedan even going to make sense in the future? It's definitely something to think about. That's it for today's review. If you enjoyed Deep Dive into the NIO ES8, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't yet, and let me know in the comments. Would you buy this? Thanks for watching, and I see you in the next one. Peace. The clock spins slow like a ghost on a wall.